what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel and from the home screen you can see this is nasantara project custom room which is officially now available for redmi note 8 and some a lot of other devices i'll provide you the official source link from where you can download this nasantara project custom room for your device what are the best advantages of using this custom room i'm using from some time and what i liked about this room is the smoothness and the performance this is just great and yes this is one of the best ever room in the terms of smoothness for me i have used a lot of usb based rooms but no room can beat this room's performance this is super duper fast super duper fast this is just in my opinion i'm not sure in about your opinion let's get started let's check out which are the great features of nusantara project custom room and some little bit more things too so guys as you can see this is actually nusantara version 1.0 rebirth official version which is based on android version 10 with the august security patch which other things you get here let me just tell you first of all if we talk about the launcher i'm using the google apps mini package so that's why i got the pixel launcher pre-installed maybe you'll get the nusantara project t4 launcher which has some little bit of customization options but pixel launcher is far better so i recommend you to use the pixel launcher for sure if we talk about the quick settings and the quick settings header you can see there's a quick settings image option available here which is available in the settings you can customize your quick settings also and you can see the icons are a little bit of change icon colors are a little bit of change the layout is also changed everything you can customize there extra tiles options are available too which are a lot and when you click here you don't get any option to reset these kind of tiles just reset only don't no option to customize layout of rows and columns but you can do everything in the okay guys if we talk about the magisk manager i'm using the latest magisk 20.4 the latest magisk version and safety net is passed let me show you by going to play protect option this is the play protect certification where your device is showing as certified if your device is certified maybe you can use the banking apps of course but i'm not sure about that you can use the magisk hide also and if your device is certified which means your safety net will be passed too so these are some cool important things about about Nusantara project if you're using this as a first time this is one of the great things in the terms of performance this is super duper smooth if you install this build you will see the performance difference there this is a very very fast custom room moving on to some other things let me just tell you about the okay this is the default camera which you get after installing the Nusantara custom room this is actually the MIUI 11 stock camera you get the photo mode the 48 megapixel cam option available which means if you're using a custom room and you want your all your four cameras will work then this room is for you you can use the ultra wide angle also you can use the 48 megapixel you can use the portrait mode you can use almost anything here you have the option of choosing the macro lens also this one is we have the macro lens option available here AI mode and all the main features are perfectly fine here this is the stock me camera and also if you want to use you can use the gcam also it all depends upon you i will provide you the link in the description for the recommended gcam which you should try out so you can try out that okay let's move on quickly to the settings of nusantara project as this has all the same settings like other custom rooms we have the face lock option available we have the fingerprint lock find my device google play protect so all the main security features are perfectly fine here the latest security patch is there you can use the face lock you can use the fingerprint lock all these things are perfectly fine sound privacy location everything is just cool here nothing new we have the aosp keyboard the battery charging level you can check out like set charging level you can also choose the battery charge warning battery saver and you can also check out the battery temperature these are some small things which you get after installing this room but let me show you the main highlights of this custom room which is nusantara wings where you have the themes option notification options miscellaneous option swiping right you have some lock screen customizations and fingerprint customizations battery carry label clock icon manager quick settings and traffic indicators and at last we have some other things which includes the buttons navigation and power menu just swipe all these things let me show you all these settings in brief because there are a lot of settings so it could consume a lot of time just move on to the theme section here you have a lot of themes option like system theme which is the main one you can customize a light theme or dark theme if you want to 
can customize your icon shape, quick setting tile style, status bar or quick settings icons which you can customize of course. Quick setting header style and also this one is the quick setting header style and switch style which you can change if you want to. We also have the font type and Google Sans is one of my favorite fonts and as you can see I have applied them and these looking very very interesting. And one of the great thing about the this thing is let me just show you one thing here we have the things like wait let me just show you by going back okay just go back and here you have the miscellaneous option where you can simply cut out the display which is actually hiding the notch which is one of the great things and also if you have noticed i'm using the full screen gestures and best part is you can hide these kind of very very bad looking the space behind the keyboard and these two things are one of my favorite things in a custom room and both of these things are available and it's good in performance this is one of my favorite ever custom rooms you should try out this thing for sure if you move on to themes let me show you one more thing you have the nusantara wings background in which you can choose the async color transparent color or random color and you can also choose the async color whichever color you want to choose you can choose that one let me show you some other things we have the lock skin items and fingerprint preps and battery options carry label all these things are just same here if you go to the icon manager and signal single signal icon switch here you have a lot of customization regarding volt icon wo wi-fi icon and wo wi-fi icon style these three things matters a lot and these all things are available and working very very interesting we have some button customization options like volume steps you can customize reorient and some navigation customization where you can choose the on-screen navigation bar, system navigation and arrow animation while swiping right or back or left or whatever else. Power menu has the same things and everything is almost same, nothing else. These are the things you get here. We have the gaming mode option, swipe to screenshot, dashboard connection and all the main features are available. Nothing else but these things are very very interesting. If you choose to use the keyboard navigation keyboard, let me show you one more thing. Okay, let me show you one more thing. If you have noticed, there's a little bit of change in the themes section. Here you have the navbar style option, which is Techno Canon, One UI, One Plus, Asus or default. What is this? This is the default navigation bar, which you can change. If you choose a One UI, you will see your navigation bar will be changed like One UI, which is a very good looking thing. You can choose the One Plus navigation bar also if you like that, like this. You can also choose the Asus navigation bar if you like the Asus navigation bar like this or you can choose the default navigation bar. So all these things are very very good looking and this was one of my favorite ever thing. If I want to choose the One UI like Samsung's One UI and this was one of my favorite things of after using One UI and this is available in this Nusantara Wings custom room. You should try out this build for sure. This is one of the smoothest ever build in the terms of performance. This is very, very fast and everything is just super duper fine. The hide notch option, the hide the full navigation gestures and a lot more things. You should try out this build for sure if you want to. All the things I have already shown you. So I hope you like the things. I hope you like the review. I hope you like this video. If you like this, don't forget to drop a like and also you can comment below to appreciate. This was all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.